What up world and YouTube fans, it's Ray2K back with another exclusive video. I'm um, just trying to show you guys uh, back to where I'm at on this CK 4K. I uh, told you guys we're going to be um, doing a segment basically trying to get the firmware updated and uh, the screen overclocked to 120 and everything. Haven't got there yet, but you know I feel it kind of close. So if anybody knows what I'm doing wrong, help me out. So right here guys, I'm going to be showing you where... I just finished uh, basically formatting. Hold on, first let me just change the resolution. I have to use this fucked up resolution here for the time being. Now I had, I, I, I think I fixed it at one point to where it was sharper, but once again. Let me go into the settings here. Check some out real quick. I'm not sure why that keeps changing. Outside of what I... So you turn the sharpness down, whatever, once you get into 1080p. I'm getting hella overscan. Back into the menu. Turn that min, turn the mem, m e m c, off, and then um, let's see. We'll go to the setup and turn zoom to just scan. Then turn noise reduction off. And then we can I'm gonna go into the if it'll let me menu one, two, three, four. There we go. So here is my software version. Guys, um, I'm not sure. See if I can. Yeah, there we go. Software version. Bought this TV from Sears two days ago. Okay, so um, here we go. We're going back out of that. Gonna go into the others. Show you guys here how my menu's looking. Going to video quality. Make sure that's off. Return. Okay, so once again, guys, I'm having a problem with this SD upgrade here. So what I'm doing here now is uh, I pretty much did a format on a brand new Cruiser SD card, 16 gigabyte, well, whatever, however many gigabytes that is. I bought another one. It didn't work, though. But this one seems to let me format fat, but the other one doesn't. So um, I did fat on this, so it's format is complete. Now it's here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to my install files here. So what I have is uh, I have this guy, uh, I'm not sure how to announce it, who will caught you me or whatever the fuck. Respect to the guy. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is copy here and paste it directly onto the USB there boom okay the image file is on there now right okay it's on there so what I'm going to do is take out the USB here come on over to the side of the panel here Take this USB out because it wasn't working. As you guys can see, I got a couple USBs there. None of them are working. Uh, for guys that don't know, you can have two of those 4K, those Ultra HD cables connected up to like a USB power dongle thing and it'll work the same. So, <clears throat> over here, I plugged in the USB, right? So, from here, I'm supposed to do it this method, which is 
menu. This is the me this is the method that I'm doing. I go to menu, then I press zero four times on the remote control, and then the set the um, manufacturing settings pop up. You go to others, and then I scroll down to software upgrade. Once I click the software upgrade, this is what I get: USB searching, and then here USB search failure. Do you want to search again? Search again. Nothing. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search again and show you guys back here that the USB is indeed blinking, like it's searching for the file, but um, it's definitely not picking up the firmware. So what I'll do here is the other method. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna unplug the television. Wait, first I'm gonna power off. The side of the TV, boom, powered off, and now I'm going to unplug the TV here, boom, TV's unplugged, USB here, I'm going to plug the USB in, and I'm sorry if my videos are kind of long and dried out guys, but Shit, I can't really find any information on the TVs, man. It's all the information kind of old. So I want to plug in the TV here, boom. Everything's plugged up. And <clears throat> as the manual says, you're basically supposed to wait until the light starts blinking and it does its own thing. And, you know, then you unplug it and then plug it back up and power it on again. Which you guys can see here that um basically nothing's happening, nothing at all. So what I'm gonna do now here, <clears throat> and you know what I'll, I'll be a little patient. I'll give it like ten, fifteen more seconds, and <clears throat> okay, so. You guys can see that that method is not working there. So I'm going to power the TV on, on the side over here to the power button. <clears throat> Hit the power button. <coughs> Screen pops up. <clears throat> Back to my same old, same old. Menu, zero four times, <clears throat> others, SW upgrade, failure, and that's where I'm stuck at guys. Now I'm going to try one more thing, I want to go ahead and power it down, go on the side here, I'm going to unplug all of the HDMI ports here, just to kind of, you know, give him that. And I want to unplug it and plug it back up, guys. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> now here we go. We're going to power up on the side here. Oh, wait, we'll, we'll see if the red light blinks a little bit. Hell no. So power up on the side there. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's not powering up on the side. So I don't know, maybe it's updating. <clears throat> maybe it's updating, fellas, I don't know. It's not allowing me to power it up on the side, though, I know that. So when I hit it, hit the power button on the side here, it's just red. So I'm gonna hit the power button. 
on the remote control here. <clears throat> that was weird right there. Now, I never saw that before. Wouldn't let me turn it on on the side. Uh, I unplugged everything, so I just kind of wanted to make sure that that wasn't my issue. So I'm going to go back in zero four times. <clears throat> Failure on the search. And that's just how I've been getting it, guys. And uh, if anybody knows anything about this TV, comment, you know. You know, let me know what I need to do or whatever to get this thing rolling the way I need to get it.